with me, and he said that we are picking from the wrong tree. Sometimes we are picking from trees and, and we're getting different types of fruits. And, and I'm trying to figure out why I got love and some got hate and some got bitterness and some got up and down. Some got favor little. Some got this and that going on. But we still probably be picking from the same tree. Now, if I come in and I got praise is what I do and you picking from the tree that I'm picking from and you got praise is what I don't do. You on the seat or do nothing, and then you talking about I got a problem with the church, and we still in the same building, and we still walk the same walk, we still talk the same talk, and we still got the same shout. And then y'all want me to hold my pee because you ain't in position. Look at your neighbor and say, Neighbor, wake up and pick off the right tree. I'm dealing with the tree because so many times we are testifying and, and I'm noticing that we are causing ourselves to be where we think we are, but we're not there yet. If, if we're going to really be saved and sanctified and the Holy Ghost feel like we said we are, it's going to have to be a, a different in us. It, it, it ain't about us. It's about Jesus. I, I can't understand why we think it's about us. You ain't the one died on the cross. You ain't the one that caused me to get blessed. You ain't the one that called me to get up. You ain't the one called me to have a mind. Somebody need to say amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, pick off the right tree. I, I, I'm going to get you where you need to go if y'all just let me walk in a little bit. I'm sorry to entertain you. Some of y'all may have come and y'all brought your offering and thought you were going to drop your offering off and sneak out the door. But look at your neighbor and say, surprise. Ain't God all right. I got you now. You ain't going nowhere today. I'm trying to make sure I get you what you need today because some of y'all are in a hell-bound situation. It's time for the church people to get in line back with God. Somebody say, get in line with God. Well, I, I'm picking off the tree of bitterness. I'm picking off the tree of, of self-pity. I'm picking off the tree of doing it my way. I'm picking off the tree of self-pride. I'm picking off the tree of, oh my God, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. I'm picking off the tree of doing the way I want to do it. I'm picking off the tree. I ain't seeking God nowhere, doing my own thing. And you thinking God gonna come in and have this way. You need to tell your neighbor, not up in here. Y'all want God to have his way where you, what you need to do is line up you. Stop picking at your brother or your sister. It ain't none of your brother or your sister. When you get yourself in line, everything else will line up. Don't worry. I'm going to sling this. Look at your neighbor and say, take that neighbor. I'm sorry, y'all skew me for having that sling off thing because when you get tired of letting the devil ride, you're going to sling that mess off. I'm tired of getting reports about people that's supposed to be saved and y'all doing everything. You're doing it and everything, but your name in the name of Christ, the devil is a liar. Now, you can't do it. Tell your neighbor, you can't do it. Now, we're picking off the tree. Now, I'm picking off the tree. In my tree, I got love, joy, peace, long suffering, meekness, temper. And if you're picking off the same tree I am, and then you got bitterness, you got hatred, you got all this kind of stuff in your heart, you can't get along with nobody. But yeah, we got the same tree. Oh, y'all better say amen in here. I'm sorry. Somebody say, I'm sorry. If you don't straighten up in hell. High five somebody and say, it don't matter. Talk as long as you might. Let's go ahead and talk about me. It don't matter. You can talk about pastor till you get blue green. I'm going to preach to God said, that's enough. Touch your neighbor and say, that's enough neighbor. I'm tired of picking off the wrong tree. I 
I better save all day. I ain't going to let you stop me from giving what God got for me. Excuse me, neighbor. I got to get it today. I got to get it today. I ain't letting nobody get in my way. I'm going to receive everything. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, picking off the wrong tree. You can tell when folks pick off the wrong tree. They come in, they little attitude problem. They got the butt sticked out. They got the nose up in the air. They feel like somebody owe them something. They walk in with a scry. They come in in church. They think that everybody going to beg them to do things. They look at your neighbor and say, the devil is a liar. Ain't nobody going to beg you to do anything. If you don't want to do it, have a seat and shut up. If you ain't going to take up the offering, sit down and shut up. If you're not going to minister, shut up. Because God's going to bring somebody that's going to be willing and obedient and they're going to eat the good of the land. Look at your neighbor and say, shut up, neighbor. God, God told me, he said, now listen, he said, there are people that are eating off the tree, but when they eat, they are becoming like the tree. And I said, God, what do the trees produce that cause them to act like they act? God, oh my God. He said, when they eat like Eve ate, Eve ate off the bird. But then tree, she got the tree that God said don't because that liberty devil, oh uh, y'all don't hear me. We got some liberty devil that goes around in new direction and they try to destroy everybody that they can. That liberty devil been trying to uproot and up tear and tear down but today I got you under my and the Holy Ghost it's going to hold you down. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, that man, they're going crazy up in there. Yes, I have. High five your neighbor and say, you need a crazy preacher. You need somebody that's going to tell you that to be crazy up in the house. You need somebody that's going to be crazy to tell you the truth. You need somebody that's going to be crazy to tell you come out of your sin. You need somebody that's going to be crazy enough to tell you you can't shout. You need somebody to be crazy enough to say come out of what you're in. Ah! Y'all excuse me while I get in the cemetery and act like the man that was lost in my... I'm crazy up in here. I'm crazy enough to let you know if you don't come out of what you're in in hell, you're going to lift your eye. A few more minutes and I'm just about there. It's amazing that you live with a bit minded folks. You talk about folks and you're always gossiping. You're always trying to tear somebody down. Uh huh. You're always trying to do what you can to call belittleness. <laughs> Y'all may hate me today, but guess what? I got ready to expose today. But y'all will be glad the Holy Ghost said, "Don't do it." I got ready to show folks up the day they've been carrying seeds of discord in the church. I got ready to expose you today. But God said, no, nah, don't do it right now. Let my spirit do it. I want to let y'all know you better be careful of the thing that you sow in the house of God. Because after a while, God said, if you don't do it right, in hell, you're going to lift your eyes. Y'all, excuse me, I feel my help in here. High five your neighbors and let him have his way. I'm sorry, to, this is why folks are coming to church. They tire of church folks. They can go to the club if they want drama. They tired of drama in the church. We need to grow up and stop being drama folks. I 
Y'all know the reason why half of y'all can't get in church? Y'all have been into everything. And then y'all get mad because God used somebody. Yeah. Don't get mad because God used somebody. You better get in a position that you need to get in. Listen here. Tell your neighbor. Say, neighbor. God finna show up. And God finna show out when he get there. Could I get somebody to say yes? Could I get somebody to say yes? I'm tired of coming to church. I come for a breakthrough, y'all. I come to get delivered in church. I didn't come to let you get me out of the wheel. I come to get saved in church. Y'all skew me right now. I'm just about finished. See, y'all didn't know y'all gonna have a quick edition. Uh-huh. Look at your neighbor and say, you're gonna have a quickie today. Tell your neighbor, say, everything the devil meant for bad. Now you got to say it fast. Say, everything the devil meant for bad. You got to say it like that. Everything he meant for bad. Everything he meant for bad. Slow it down. Everything he meant for bad. Tell him that the devil in hell cannot slow down what God has promised us. Somebody give God a praise. Somebody go ahead and give God a shout up in here. Give God a shout up in here. I don't know about y'all, but God told me what to do. God said, I want you to preach. Y'all, y'all, y'all feel the heat in here? Feel like it ain't no air on, don't it? What you want to go to hell for then? Tell your neighbor and say, neighbor, you better wake up because hell's a hot plate. Ain't no water there. Get your neighbor and say, neighbor, shake them again. Shake them and say, hell is a hot plate. y'all out in time to eat dinner. So I didn't tell you nothing that you weren't going to be able to do. Shalom to the third chapter. What do it say? Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Then let me tell you something. This devil is slick. Look at your neighbor beside you. Say, neighbor. neighbor. You letting the devil use you? Ask him again, say, neighbor, is that little devil using you? Now, now, could I tell you something? If you bless somebody out, you you use that devil this morning. High five somebody, say, I ain't got no attitude. What, 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 what he said, Shalanta? And he said unto the woman, uh-huh. Yea, have God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Why, why is it hard for us to obey God? Uh, why is it hard for us to obey leadership? We 
got a problem with following in order. If God is over pastor, that means pastor's over y'all. That means that if order come down, order don't come up. Why is it that we have a conflict when God speaks then? God give me to put leaders over department, but you still ain't had. That means your men of God or your woman of God or who's in authority that's under your pastor have the authority to give you what you need to do. Don't put yourself in pastor's shoes when you don't walk in the shoes. When I'm not in position, I call my assistant. I said, Ella King, I need you to do certain things. And when Ella King stepped in Pastor's shoes, he's in Pastor's shoes then. But when Pastor come back on the scene, Ella King go back to assist the Pastor, and Pastor will come back in authority. Let me drop a bomb on y'all. Y'all ain't going to put a wedge between us. Look at your neighbor and say, I don't care what you try to do. It ain't going to happen. That's where we are spiritual enough to know when the devil in hell is trying to divide the church. But look at your neighbor and say, not here. High five anybody and say, you better let him have his way. Y'all may not like this. Y'all may have to go home and get y'all one of double uh, banana splits today. This ain't going to be no fun message today. I got to preach this thing till somebody get right. Uh, Can I get somebody to say amen? Come on, Shalanta, read. Sit sit down, my. Let mama read, baby. Sit down right there. There you go. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Now listen here. Now you know when you start doing what God tell you to do, that old slickster is going to always try his best to stick up his head somewhere because you're trying to do what's right. I wouldn't do what pastor said to do. Baby, you better obey what your man of God tell you. If you don't want to obey your men of God, get up out of here. Touch your neighbor and say, if you ain't going to obey your men of God, why are you here? Why are you up on the leadership if you think you know everything? If God thought you know everything, he would give you your own track. I dipped up in here. God deals with us, and I'm trying to deal with the church, but everybody got to get in line to hear what the visionary is saying, but because we got too many that trying to be bosses, everybody trying to tell somebody what to do, and if you ain't obeying leadership, shut up. Let me say it again. Orders come down, not up. If God gives the men of God something to do, you need to line up to what the men of God said. Not your ideas, not your theory. If God says something to you, you're supposed to run it by your men of God. You don't do nothing unless your men of God, the visionary, have told you that God is all right because of everything that I bear, I got to pray and make sure it's in the line of God. Well, y'all got quiet up in here. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, unusual service today. Touch him again and say, neighbor, that little bit of devil is something else up in here. But I need somebody that's crazy enough to say, not here, Satan. Tell him again, not here, devil. 
Come on, somebody say, not nah, here, devil. Why did you have fire, Ella Key? Because I'm letting them know that everything is all right. We just bridged the gap that the devil thought. We just bridged everything that enemy meant for. I need somebody to say, preach up in here, man. Come on, Shalanta, come on, come on. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, uh-huh. God hath said, ye shall not eat of it. Why, 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 why is it? Why is it? Why is we trying to get so much of wisdom and knowledge that we think we know more than anybody? <laughs> ain't nobody rich in here. We ain't got that yet. Why are we picking on folks or bothering somebody? All of us striving to be somebody. That's the reason why God hadn't blessed some of us with nothing because he know y'all will get lifted once you get it. You look jealous little thing, you. Why are you hating on folk because God bless them? We ain't in no competition to try to outdo nobody. When you bless the church, you bless the church. What competition are you in? Who are you trying to impress? If God don't be in here, nobody ain't going nowhere. I'm trying to get soul saved. It ain't about us. I, I can't understand. We, we, we said we are fasting and praying for, but when you don't see you, you ain't fasting. When I fast and pray, God show pastor first. I got to first be a partaker of what I bring y'all first. And after God examine me, then I'm able to bring you the living word. Come on, come on, come on. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. This is what's going to happen. See, we done took the word of God so much for granted. You see, y'all, y'all ain't paying attention to what's going on. See, yesterday, day before, day before that, day before that. See, the Bible said in the last day that the sun was going to come so close to the earth. That thing was going to start melting. And I don't know if y'all paying attention or not. If y'all really pay attention, yesterday, the day before that, day before that, you go out in the atmosphere and you couldn't hardly breathe because the sun is coming so close to the earth that it's sucking in the oxygen of the land. And some of us are still doing what we're doing because we don't see what God is trying to do. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, wake up, neighbor. Tell him again, wake up, neighbor. God is speaking in the land and somebody got to listen. Come, come on, Shalom, come on. But the serpent said unto the woman. What, what did the serpent say? Ye shall not surely die. This, this is what the devil is saying to y'all. Y'all are so seeds of discord. Y'all are broke up. Families, y'all have caused things to happen. You have messed up things inside the church. You split the line down the mill, and you feel like nothing ain't finna happen. The devil is a liar. Y'all, y'all think you the guy by? It. No, you ain't. You ain't got by. It. It's something finna happen. Yeah, 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 you'd have, you'd have talked behind the scene and, and you'd have got the word out and you'd have did what you need to do and you'd have got everybody on your side, you thought. But after a while, God finna flip sides it back over and everything that you sow, you finna get. Somebody need to tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, whatever you're doing now, you better run for your life. When 
the story said run far and run that story meant something you better run saints run I deal with too much on the job. I deal with too much in the church. And then the thing about it, you, you ain't got no bad leader. Now, if I was one load that, that, that do, did that and, he, and not praying, not doing what it's supposed to do, then I can understand you like you are. But when you got a leader that's doing what God tells me to do, and, and, and then I look at some of y'all that are contrary, some of y'all are hard-headed, some of you do what you want to do, uh-huh, touch your neighbor and say, uh-huh. See, y'all don't understand something. Y'all think that y'all got by. Could I, could I both tell y'all something? God let me see every member in here. It ain't nothing that is here that God don't reveal. I know who stir up mess. And guess what? I can shout all around you, and then when God tell me it's time to rebuke you, I'm going to do it. See, y'all, y'all, see, a lot of them say, he a young man, but a foolish young man. I'm doing all this to me, and he ain't even knowing. Yes, I do. I'm just waiting on time. I'm just waiting on time. I ain't moving yet. And I want to give you a word to all you that think you slick it. You may think you're slicking today, but uh, God got your number. Look at your name and say, boo, 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 boo. Come on, Shalanka, come on, come on, come on. See, y'all y'all ain't used to this. Y'all, 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 y'all want me to get up there and throw my hand in my ear. Not today. Come on, Shalanta. For God doeth know that in the day ye shall eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. This was going on, folks. Eyes that came open. Don't you understand when your eyes come open that something is lacking? When she ate off the tree, the devil told her, said, now when you eat off the tree, your eyes is going to become open. And you're going to become wiser as gods. He put a G-O-D-S, gods. Yo, King, why is it that we got so many folks that know so much, but they don't know now? I work with folks like that. They know everything but don't know nothing. Instead, I have them say, you know what, Pastor? If, 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 you, if you do it this way and do it this way and you do it this way and you do it this way and you do it this way and, and I think it would work like this if you do this, you ain't none the pastor. You don't know what God telling me to do. And somebody said, well, but Pastor, uh, uh, I feel like God have gave me this to give you. God give, I get orders from him. Now you can bring your suggestion and idea, but the finalization is going to be when I hear God say it's all right. Don't y'all get quiet on me now. God touched me this morning. When I, when I got up, I, I got up at five this morning and, and I was sitting and the Lord was talking and I called myself. I said, well, 
I'm going to lay down. First lady said, lay down. Get you about 30 more minutes, babe, because you're, you're physical and you're tired. I got ready to lay down, and, and Jeremiah spoke to me. And Jeremiah said, it's light. And I got up, and I said, babe, I, I can't sleep. Because when God started dealing with you, God started dealing with me and God started talking to me. And, and, and when I saw the church in trouble, because we got folks that are in trouble. Y'all, y'all, see, y'all ain't paying attention to what I'm saying. Just the other day, the young man that got shot down right down in here in town, got shot 10 times, was a co-worker, my God, a mine, a grandson, father, got shot down. Don't y'all know I ain't got no time to be playing games up in the church. When I see drive-by shooting going on. When I see folks shooting folks and don't care how they shoot them. Brutally murdering folks and don't even care. And then y'all want me to play games up in the house of God? Read Shalanta. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. Uh -huh. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. And a tree to be desired make one wise. Let me show she, you something. Hold on, Shalanti. This is what the devil do. He paints the picture. He make you feel like what you're doing, you're going to be successful in it. He paints it and make you feel like that that you're doing is going to be good. And so he got and he paint the picture and you all gloss with it. And you think that everything's going to be good because he showed you a little vision and everything's going to work like you think. And you already got your plan made out. You already got the things all fixed. And then all of a sudden the devil boomerang you. And everything that you'd have done have come back to haunt you. Ain't God all right? But look at what God began to tell me. He said, the soul that sinneth shall surely die. Am I tired of seeing folks die without God? Am I tired of seeing people preach a funeral and telling you seeing folks walk through the pearl of gate and they just been the worst drunkard in the community? Sorry to tell you, I'm not finna get up here and preach your funeral. I keep telling y'all, I got my black suit ready. Y'all take your man of God for granted when I tell y'all that. Y'all take your man of God when I tell you I got my black suit ready. I got my robe ready so when you die, I can preach your funeral because I keep warning you. And when I start smelling flowers and God start letting me scent death around, and y'all won't listen, I keep telling y'all, y'all better get it together. Ain't God all right? But people won't listen. The enemy is cunning folks out of the church. People won't go to church because of people. I would go to church, but so-and-so is still in up and doing it, doing it. And they ain't going to church as long as they are. You better get you together. I don't care who go to hell. After I done preach the word of God to you, you want to be a castaway, that's in your corner. Come on, Shalanta, read. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Means. Means. Could I say it again? Means. What are the means? Women's. Gonna drop a nugget in here. Y'all please listen to me. Now when you are a woman over your house, you in control of your house. But when you become a man, when you get married and that man become your husband, God put him the head of the house. Y'all know the reason why these women's 
do what they do because you men are so timid, so weak needed. You, they got to pump you to do everything. Y'all got quiet up in here. I knew I'm a man. I put on pants. That's all you put on. Anybody can put on a pair of trousers. But are you a man? What is a man, bro, pastor? A man is one that takes on the authority as a man. He carries out the duties of a man at his house. He don't just send his family to church. He carries them to church. He get up and he the one that leads them out. He don't wait till everybody get ready. He the one that leads them out. He the one that leads prayer in the home. He the one that makes sure things is carried. He the one put the order in the house that the house carries the way it's supposed to be. He didn't call you women to be the head of the house if you're married. Where y'all get all this controlling from? They got quiet up in here. They got, they got quiet. They got quiet. They got quiet. They got quiet. Look at your name and say, don't get quiet now. Uh-uh. I can't stand to see a weak needed man. Just because you get a little sick, you feel like you got to be weak to it. Everybody looked at me and oh no, he didn't. Yes, I did. If she's good enough for you to get you a little bit, she should be good enough to throw some on the finger. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. High five your neighbor and say, neighbor, he went there. He went there. Let me tell y'all something. It bothers me when I look at what Eve did to the man. This is the reason why I'm working hard like I'm working now. Because the man was too weak to say, uh-uh, God told me not to eat this tree. He told me not to eat from this tree right here. I'm not going to let you get us in trouble. Some of y'all, every time they tell you to do something, you so weak-minded, you ain't going to pray. But you always do instead of saying, let's pray about it. Where are the man? Anybody can say I'm a man. You walk around like a zombie. Uh. Real pastor, you don't know what I what I be like when I go home. I do that for peace. Say no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. I ain't telling you to get there and beat the daylights out of them. Stand firm. A lot of times we won't be in debt if you stay firm. I think you can get it. Cause you go ahead, take it. Or you leave my towel. See, if folks don't like to hear this type of message. See, this is the reason why some of y'all women ain't going to get nobody because y'all want to rule somebody. Didn't I tell you to mop the floor before I get back? Who are you talking to? Y'all want the man to do what he's supposed to do? If he ain't putting gas in the car, pray to God, touch him. Stop trying to be his mama. I need you to cut the grass. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. Don't, don't, don't. You ain't got to go through all them headaches. Start praying. Get on your face and start praying. Talk to God. Tell God what you need to happen. I'm going home to mama. I can do all bad by myself. Stay your butt at, at where you are. You to marry the bad, stay there. Long as he ain't beating on you, long as he ain't critting or doing your wrong, stay there and pray and get yourself back to where you need to be at. Y'all got to look scared of him. Everybody looking at me like, oh, God, why we? God told me to preach it, y'all. He told me to preach it. 
I don't know why God taking this way, but can I tell y'all? And then you women said, Lord, send me a man. And then you don't know what you're getting when you get him. Because the first thing you look at is you look at his butt and his body. And thinking yeah, he, because he got muscles and he got a good butter, he dressed good, he, he, he's fine. And you feel like that's all you need because he's fine. But he can be a hunk and a mess and a sl- If God going to send you a man, make sure he a working man. Make sure that he love the Lord and he love the thing that he do. If he love God, he going to love you. Excuse me, pastor. You don't know what I see. He is fine. Oh, Lord, he uh, Jesus. Did you feel that flash when he went by us? You're shaking the hand and you act like they all that. Shaking the hand. You doing all right? Uh-huh, I'm doing fine. Uh-huh. You about to cave in and the man don't even have a job. If you're going to fall out, make sure he's working. Make sure he's established. Make sure he wants him in life. See what his goals and priorities are. If he don't want him in life, you don't want me. Oh, y'all, y'all got quiet, didn't you? Y'all don't like this type of teaching, do y'all? Well, Pastor... She she like a brick house. Pastor, you just don't know. When I look at her, it's like she'll go all over my body. It, it ain't chill, baby. That just you, you just messed up in the mind. If you get thrilled because of a naked behind or uh, behind that fits some pants or a hind that fits in a skirt and you get thrilled because of that, you are sure enough messed up. Anybody can twist and do all the turn, but baby, are they a real woman? Could they cook? If they had children, would they be responsible for taking care of their children? Would they be responsible for taking care of their housing? Would they be responsible if you bring money in? Would they take it out and give it to Harry or John or, or Luther? What, what, my God, I need somebody that I can trust. High five anybody that said, this man preaching today. Come on, come on, Shalanta. They, 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 they need a word from the Lord. Take such a name and say, is there anything happening you? Read, read Shalanta. Open, uh-huh. and they knew that they were naked. See, this is what's going on. See, you, you know where you are. Why is it that we come to church pretending like we all we got together? I, I don't understand. You know you messed up, and then you come to church like you got all oh, so good. Music going, and just because you got a little, little song together and everybody told you, go ahead, you thought that the Lord was really using you. <laughs> ah, and you hit that hockey. Everybody, go say, 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 say it. And you don't realize that you are naked. I want God to do something for me. I don't want to come to church being messed up and thinking I'm all what I need to be and God is not pleased with me trying to please people. 
I'm not going to please people. Ella King, I got to please God. I heard you said some last Sunday. You said, I got to please God. You know what? We, we please y'all so much and, and, and mess up with God. Sometimes we get up and, and God give us a mess and we want to preach God. We want to make you happy. But sometimes God says, no, nah, I want you to sell them down today. I want to give them some, that, some neck bones or black eyed peas or some butter bean that's going to stick to your flesh. Look at your name and say, are you naked? Pastor, I got clothes on. But are you naked? If you in sin, there is a nakedness about you. In other words, the covering of God have uncovered you and your flesh which is in sin have caused you to become naked from the blood of Jesus. So you are naked. I'm a castaway must. You don't know how much of criticism I take in a days in a course of a day. You don't know how much a man of God go through the things that we go through and face just to become who I am. I want to know something. You naked today? I'm in the church. I'm on the different boards. I do things in church, but are you naked? Do you really know God? Do you really know him? I'm a member of New Direction, but that don't mean that you still are whole. Read, read Shalom. I, I got a couple minutes, and I got to get them out of here. And they sold fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. You know what? When they was in the garden, they was able to walk around as a man and a woman nude, and they didn't even know they was nude. Men's, we got to be so safe in our eyes that if a woman come up and script bun naked, If they fall on the floor and all their underwear shows, are you safe enough to not get a thrill? I guess everybody said, this man is so making the point. But you'll be surprised of the mindset that people are in. They covered themselves with apron because when they realized they was naked, the feminists and the male figure began to say, okay, look what I have, look what you got. And they began to cover themselves because they never knew that it was a woman in that position and a man in his position. They never knew that until they became naked. You don't know what the devil would do with you until you become naked. How many of y'all praying in here? I'm not really praying. I mean, talking to God truly. True repentance with God. Ain't got time for game. Really praying. Really talk to God. Sincere. If that was a rapture to take place in 10 days, how many would y'all be ready? 10 minutes of time, or 10 days, or either 10 minutes. You knew that we was going to get the rapture out of here. In 12.30, you knew that rapture time was coming. I promise you, y'all will be in so many positions. Y'all will be... Pastor, I, I can't hear the word no more, Pastor. You'll be up here repenting. You'll be giving God all you got because you knew that in 10 minutes the rapture was going to come. If 
Is there a rule of waking and coming? Is things in the atmosphere happening for a purpose? Why did God give pastor this message? Because we are picking off the tree that we shouldn't be picking off. Are we seeking God's face because we want to be higher than our flesh? We want to be in the place where God can talk to our mental and mind. You can tell when folks ain't playing, they make crazy decisions. They do things without concern God, and when they do it, they mess up. And I have had a lot of folks, Pastor, why don't you do it this way? I got to pray before I do anything. Sometimes with you, it may look like it's the best thing to do, but you don't know how many folks it will uproot or hurt. Suppose that somebody come to your house and do like you do the church. How would you feel if your child that you love dearly, you see them going through because of stuff that you sold? Now got quiet in here. If you don't want things to happen in your house, why bring it to the house of God? Five more minutes and I'm finished. Shalom to read. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Listen here, watch. they was naked. They knew that they allowed the devil to slip in and give them something to get them from being in the will of God. And they began to know that they was messed up and God had found them out. And when he called their name, what did they say, Shalant? Life hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God. They hid themselves. Go ahead. Among us, the trees of the garden. They went to the trees. They, they got behind the trees. They tried to hide. You and, know, and you can't hide from God. The presence of the Lord is in every place. Beholding the eyes of the Lord is in every place. Beholding the good and the evil. You can't hide. Read. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him. What did he say? Where art thou? I want to know where you are. Why are you hiding from I'm going to ask the church a question. Why are you running from God? Why are you not in position like you need to be? Why are the pastor got to keep telling you the same thing over and over and you ain't taking heed? Now, uh, since you won't listen to him, I'm going to come in the room. I'm going to walk in the room and I'm going to start talking. So since y'all won't listen to him, you're going to be like the children of Israel. Y'all ask for a king. So I'm going to give you a king now. I'm going to walk in here now. I'm going to turn stuff bottom sides up. And when I start turning, it ain't nothing nobody can do. Nobody can pray you out of because when I start cursing, ain't nobody going to be able to make you whole. Some of y'all need to be quiet and let God fix it. That's a word for somebody. Some of y'all need to shut up and let God fix it. You keep trying to mess things up by opening your mouth, trying to fix it yourself. You're going to cause chaos. Let God fix it. Step back and let God fix it. What did it say, Shalanta? Sit on the side, Mike. And the Lord called unto Adam, and he said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, 
And I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. Men, he called Adam out because he gave the order to men. Did I tell y'all something? Drop a bomb on y'all? Men? Get over a family. Your family got to be submissive to your authority. If they are up under your roof, they obey your rules and regulations. You cannot tell nobody what to do if your house ain't in order. I got a word from God. If your house is out of order, God is not giving you a word. Everybody got to be submissive in the house when you're carrying the gospel plier. He called Adam out. He said, where are you? He said, I'm naked. How do you know you're naked? What I did wrong? Sin that took me over. I'm saying to us today, It may not be deaf in your house today. It can be deaf in your house tomorrow. I never seen so many unconcerned people about the ways of God. When I came into church this morning without the air being on, and you feel just the little circulation of air, you can feel the heat index is so high that regardless of how you cut your air on, even in your house, it's just like you ain't got it on. But, but Pastor, I got that train. I don't care if you got boot up. The way the atmosphere is going, you got to know God, yeah. Read Shalant, I got one more minute. Maya, sit down, sit down. Go ahead. And he said, who told thee that thou wast naked? Mm -hmm. Has thou eaten of the tree? Whereof I commanded thee that thou shouldest not eat? I want to know. I gave you order, Adam. Men, y'all got to start back seeking God's faces. It makes me sad when I see our families becoming not the family that we needed to be. Because we let the enemy come in and move our manly part. And somebody said, manly part, I ain't talking about no sex either. Get out the gut. It ain't all about sex. That makes you become the man. We got to learn how to have a more intimate relationship with God. I don't know why God teaches taking me this way. The best love making that you can give to God is giving yourself to God. Mother God woke me up this morning and he said, I want you to preach this until conviction come into my house. But Frank, I don't know what more that God may say your time is up. I don't know what day God said, I'm calling you home. But I got to be ready when he said, your time is up. We, we, we living like we finna live forever.
Y'all better live, y'all. Y'all better wake up and hear God today. Saints of God, we got to start back seeking God's face again. Read Shalom to me. I got to close. I'm going to stop right here. And the man said, the woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree and I did eat. Adam, I'm going to correct you. God gave it to you, but you didn't have to eat it. Men's. Did I say this again? God looking for men's. Pastor, what, what about if you're a working man, do all the duties of a man, but still no control over your house? You're going to have to show enough prayer. And women's, when God bless you with good men's or good women's, Appreciate what you have. Take pride in what you have. When the last time you told somebody you love them? When the last time you threw your arms around and said, I care about you? When the last time you put forth the effort to throw your heart and your soul and your body to go beyond you to please somebody else besides you? When Adam found out what he'd done, God called him into question. Adam said, okay, God, I'm called, I'm guilty. What do I do? today. Close that up, Shalom. Lord, I had a pick from the wrong tree. I'm in the ministry. I'm on the deacon board. I'm on the mother board. I'm an usher. I'm a choir member. I'm on the pastor aid. I'm in different auxiliary. God, I picked from the wrong tree. How would people perceive me if they see me confess that I, I, I messed up. Well, last time I heard, nobody got a heaven to hell to put you in. You trying to please individuals and God being displeased is something wrong with the picture. Everybody stand to your feet. I, I need God. to do something for me. I need God to work on me, not, I, I, I need God to fix me. Somebody said, I need God to do Johnny. I need God to do Harry. They should have been here today. God had you here. He had you here. If this word wasn't for them, if they wasn't here, he had us here. Lord, forgive me, God. Forgive me, God. God, anything that I took from the tree that you told me not to, forgive me, God, for the nakedness that I permitted myself to become. Forgive me, God, for allowing you to be made ashamed. Lord, today, I invite you in. Help me to be the person that you called me to be. Lord, I'm sorry for the thing that you allowed me to go through with. Lord, I should have been waiting.